He's on track, surfed incredibly well with what he was offered out there, and I took the win. Well, we talk about goofies and sometimes how hard it is to take out a win at Bell's Beach. I think all those theories are gone. The goofy foots are absolute weapons on tour. We have three goofy footers in this lineup, and while we were away, rookie sensation from Newcastle, Ryan Callanan, got a start. Yeah, Ryan just beautiful, smooth, uh, big bottom turns. I mean, obviously watching Kai Otten perform this morning, obviously watching Matty Wilco. It's going to be the attack of the backhands here. So how are they going to mix it up? Who's going to look different? I think it's going to come down to wave selection, Joe, because all these th these three backhanders are amazing. Ryan Callan, big, strong kid, just milking this one all the way through the inside. He's got to finish off well. He's got the tactician of uh, Ace Bucken and then the, the power of Nat Young to deal with. So it's going to be a great heat. Also, during the break, we saw Ace Bucken get started as well, Potts. Yeah, Ace, obviously renowned as one of the best backhand surfers on tour. He's got some good company now, hasn't he, Joe? There's a lot of the goofy footers are starting to light it up. I think they're starting to believe that they can do it. Ace Bucken, obviously, more experienced out of the out of the three guys, but uh, I'm calling wave selection is going to be the difference. Obviously, all of them have got that beautiful, silky smooth backhand approach. Nat Young's got the power. Ryan Callanan, he's a big boy, big, strong kid, so I think he's going to have to use that to his advantage. I love the contrast of all the goofy foots that you're speaking to, Potts. Nat Young with more success in his career at this venue. This is what Nat did. Yeah, I think Nat feels comfortable here. Yeah, I think he feels at home coming from Santa Cruz, you know, a little colder water, wetsuit, reef breaks. But Nat Young, I think it's just that solid power base that he's got. You know, he's just got that stocky sort of build as well, big strong legs, and he just comes off the bottom and just belts the lip. So, you know, he's obviously made the final here before. Can he go one better? You know, I think he's, he's got what it takes. Sure does. Nat Young is still just 24 years of age. He took the Rookie of the Year honor, really due to a huge performance at this venue. He lost to De Souza in the final and almost was able to take one for the Goofies. It's been since 98 since Mark Ocalupo won for the Backsiders. This wasn't the only final that Nat Young made. He also finaled in Portugal where he lost to Kai Otten. Three different surfers from three different places on the globe. Strider's watching this now. Rider in the red jersey. Nat Young, former runner-up at this contest. We'll just get a little setup snap. Carves it right in the pocket. Now he's got the lip to show up. Hammers right through it. Stretches out that high line carve. And now he'll go to the mid face for a lengthy cutback. Looking for something major on the inside. And it's making him work for it. Now Nat will just connect the flats here. He still has the pace and rhythm to potentially get this little bonus section. Coils up, hits it vert, and he's out of there. Leg burner. <laughs> I always talk about that, you know, this wave is, is, is super demanding and, you know, no jet ski assist here this morning. So these guys have got to utilize that paddle back out as, uh, as time to recover. But it's some big turns, but just a nice, clean, beautiful wave that just really had a good pace to it. So Nat Young, just nice, clean surfing. We talk about the power right here, jams it in the pocket. And that's the thing, a lot of variety too. Bang through the lip, almost lost it there, but regathered and then this turn sort of held the rail a little longer to bring it back around, showing variety, and there's that backhand cutback that you talk about, Joe. It's, it's actually, you know, to learn that, it's, it's almost like a front side bottom turn for these guys. So setting that rail, driving off those fins, this is where the, a lot of downtime, so you've got to sort of weigh it up. Is it worth using that energy, using that time to finish off? If you're going to get that special inside section, it's definitely worth it. That doesn't like it too much. I remember after that interview came out, all the kids locally in Southern California were saying, I don't really like backside cutbacks either. I was like, I know what you just read. The laying our little break is this wave, and we love it. Ace Bucken is now getting down the line. He'll end up slipping on that first section, but Ace Bucken wants more. Ace now setting up that lethal backhand attack. Squares up nice and vertical. Strong off the bottom, perfect climbing snap. Now a big finishing move for Bucken. Coils up, hits it hard, oh. but he can't hang on. Absolutely amazing. And now Galley, he's here on hand, coaching Jordy Smith. 14-15 to go. This is Ryan Callanan from Newcastle. Ends up getting a little bit sticky off the top, and he's down. So Ryan had a 5-1-7 before. His real name, Adrian, 483 and a 317. And we have a little battle for positioning. It's up to Nat if he wants it with first priority. Goes straight down to the bottom. Good timing on the backhand snap. 
nice round carve, even when this wave's going flat. Quick jam on the open face. Now a big pocket oh. to coil up and hammer. And he's still swinging. Stretches out the bottom turn. There's that backside cut back again. Great form and rhythm. Knives it vertically. There's that dangerous approach that got Nat Young to a final here a couple years ago. That was absolutely perfectly surfed right there. Just waited for it, timed it perfect. Always find a lip to hit on this way. Well, it's just, you, you watch him, he brings that board all the way back around, which then puts him in a really good position to, to sort of really uncoil. This wave is starting to stand up right now. You see how he waits for it, then draws off the bottom in the lip. He's not projecting out on the face, he's coming back into the power, which then puts him straight back into that, you know, that position to really go nice and vertical. Even that cutback right there put him into a nice position to finish that wave off. So every maneuver there was for a reason. It all fit in, it all made sense, and it all came out. He's going to get a good score for that. You emphasize the bottom turn, but not every bottom turn was the same for Nat. Reading the wave wells will now go to live action with Ace Bucken. Solid open face, one of the bigger waves of this heat, and he's matching it off the bottom and off the top. Big wind up and drills that third turn as he'll cover some ground again. Gets a little bit hung up. And he'll look to recover for a finish in the white water. Ace Bucken pulling off the backhand finish. A low tide as you have the kids everywhere on the beach as well. And then a high tide at 3 o'clock. But there was the catabatic winds this morning when you have that really cold land and that kind of warmer water. You get that offshore. And then now we've got that southwest flow, which is what we saw forecast from this morning's uh, Surfline report. It is going to have that southwest flow. So we're going to start to see it start to ripple. You can definitely feel the winds now. It's not that nice little offshore flow we had this morning. It's gone back the other way. Which is Obviously really oh. important here at Bells. It's local time, 10 o'clock in the morning. With When you used to compete here at Potts, did you mind if... We didn't go on hold because of the tide, so you had to adjust halfway through heat sometimes. But Ryan Callan on a solid bomb right here extends that floater. What an amazing ability right there to pull that board back under his feet. Two-stage cutback. Judges aren't going to really like that, but now it starts to stand up. Beautiful style from Ryan Callan. I like the way. Watch that back leg. See how bent that knee gets. Sort of compresses right down. Look how almost flat on the deck. Right there, just timed that last manoeuvre. Maybe not quite as good as he, he, he wished, but... Uh, it came to Bells nice and early, and he's still playing comeback in this matchup. Former runner-up at the contest, Nat Young, takes on this wave. Little downtime to get started. Just a setup turn, and it wasn't the wave he was looking for. No, I think he just wanted to take that one off Ace Buck, and obviously five minutes to go. He goes into a heat, knowing he's going to win, and with the clock winding down, it came true for the Californian, representing Santa Cruz, a 12.10 total. will take him into round three pots. Yeah, good surfing there from Nat Young. Obviously, uh, a 5.9, a 6.20, not a huge score, but did exactly what he needed to.